Good morning, children, and praise the Lord. How has the week been since last Sunday? It was, we had an amazing session as we remembered that Jesus ascended into heaven after rising from the dead. And we are grateful to God who has given us another special and awesome opportunity for us to get into our lesson our Sunday school lesson in our homes. Karibuni sana for the session today for our class. If you have your sibling nearby there, if you have your, maybe your cousin, or even your mom or your dad, who you are watching this service together with, please say hi to them. Would you give them a high five? Please give me also a high five. High five. Thank you. May God bless you for choosing to be in the Sunday school class this morning. My name is Teacher Josiah and I'm again very excited and grateful to God for giving me an opportunity for us to have this session. Karibu. Please pick your Bible, also pick a notebook, pick, get your, yourself ready so that we get into the lesson. Let's start with prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for you have loved us and today we have seen another beautiful day and a Sunday where we have our Sunday school class. Bless us and speak to us, for we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. So everybody is fine. Myself, I'm well. God has taken care of me. God has protected me. God has preserved me. Imagine God has also given me food. As you can see, I am clothed, I have clothes on. So God has been so, so, so good to me. Has he also been good to you? Please, let us all be grateful. Let's thank him for the many blessings he has blessed us. And today, we are having a new series of lessons. We are introducing a new series of lessons. And we are learning about a man called Moses. Moses was a man who lived many, many years ago. He was a man of God, but before he became a grown-up man, he was a small, little, tiny child. He was born one time as a very, very small child. And so we are looking today at a lesson with the title, Moses is Born. So today, children, 
our lesson is Moses is born. And we are picking our lesson from the book of Exodus. Please open your Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 2. Exodus chapter 2. Please open with me your Bible. And we are going to read five verse, sorry, six verses from chapter 2, verse 1, or rather verse 5, to verse 10. Can I read with us? Please also read along with me. I'm reading from the NIV uh, version. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, take this baby and nurse him for me and I will pay you. So, that, so the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became the son. He be, sorry, he became her son. She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of water. And that is our reading for today. Children, Moses, who was a prophet of God, as I had said earlier, was one time a very small child. You know, Moses was born at a time when there was a king called Pharaoh. And Pharaoh was a ruthless and kind king. Imagine what he did. He gave a decree, a command, that all the boys that were being born to Israelites, that they were to be killed. Imagine, every boy was to be killed. That is not a nice king. You agree, right? And so Moses was born in that time when that king was ruling. And he has said that all boys should be killed. So when Moses was born, his mother decided, I will not have my baby killed. I will not obey the king. I will hide this, my little boy, because Moses was nice, was good, was a wonderful baby. So um, his mother hid the baby. And at some point, the mother could not hide the baby any longer. She made a call for the baby, the colt was made from reeds. Reeds are usually, grow, they grow in uh, places where there is water, a lot of water. So the, the colt was also smeared inside with the tar so that it could not enter water. And with, uh, uh, with, with, uh, with, with the tar and turpentine, so that water could not enter in. And Moses was placed in that colt and taken to the river Nile bank and placed there. So at this time, Pharaoh's daughter, the king's daughter, that ruthless king, imagine, has gone to bathe at the river. Then she hears, ah, 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 a baby crying. And the, when they went to look, they found a baby who had been left there. But the mother of Moses was very wise. She had told Moses' elder sister, who was called Miriam, to be watching at a distance, who is coming around. And Miriam saw that his, her brother has been picked by another woman, Pharaoh's daughter. So she came to Pharaoh's daughter and asked her, can I bring somebody who, wants, who can uh, nurse this child for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said, yes, go bring her. Then Moses' sister Miriam brought the mother and the mother took care of the child and the child continued to grow even though the king had said that all children who are born, male children, all boys were to be killed. Can you imagine how God protected Moses using the mom, the sister, and even the very daughter of Pharaoh? the king, this very unkind, ruthless, bad king who had said boys to be killed. Now, 
children. This is the lesson we are drawing from this uh, teaching. Even if you go through circumstances that are tough, maybe you are fear, maybe there is someone who wants to hurt you, God is able to protect you. God can protect every little child. You know that song which we sing in Sunday school? That God holds the whole world in his hands. He also holds the little baby in his hands. And God was holding baby Moses in his hands. And baby Moses was not killed. Children, is there something that you are worried about? Maybe you are worried about your safety. And even in the season we are in as a country and the whole world, there is the disease called Corona. You have heard about it. Maybe you've seen it on the television being a, a reported. But God has been holding you and me. We are in his hands. He is protecting us. Like Moses, God is protecting us. So do not worry. Do not be anxious. Do not fear because God himself is watching over you. I want us to look at our memory verse for today. And our memory verse is coming from the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. Please open there. Let's all open there and then we will read. Verse 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Can we repeat all that, uh, that, that verse, all of us together? Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Children, God cares for you. So let us all cast our anxieties to him for he cares for us. Once more, I want us to repeat the memory verse and we will repeat it this way. First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Please keep on memorizing this verse. Keep repeating it, saying it to yourself and believe it and then do it. Begin to do it. Cast all your anxiety to him for God cares for you. Can we pray so that we finish our lesson today? Right? Please close your eyes. Let's put our hands together and we pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your care for us. Your word is telling us to cast all our cares to you. Just like you took care of baby Moses. Lord, thank you for taking care of us even today. We thank you for we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for being on our online Sunday school class today. May God bless you and keep you. I will see you next Sunday. Shalom. Bye.